All right, Google is going to let you go ahead and remove your email address, your phone number, anything else that's on a site that you didn't think had the right to publish that information in the first place. Uh, but it does remind folks how everything is out there. Lisa Garber, the cybersecurity attorney, expert on all things legal, with us now. Lisa, I understand that's out there, and, and Google is allowing you the option of removing it from out there. Uh, but that just seems a little rich. We didn't ask you to do this in the first place. Well, Google's had this option for some time, but the problem is Google is just the content indexer for when you search. They don't supply all of the content behind those search results. So while it's nice to be offered the option to have that information potentially deleted, and there are quite a few caveats if it's an official website, if it's something they just can't change for some reason, they also have an exception stating they can flat out deny it for no reason. But the problem exists that there are tens of tens of dozens of sites that aggregate our data every single minute of every day that even if Google de-indexes it, that data is still being used for a variety of dark purposes. So all the people who have paid extra to have an unlisted phone number, anything like that, or, or not to get their address out there or go through a second or third party to hide that stuff, they're just wasting their money and time. Yeah, unfortunately, they are wasting their money and time. There are a couple different Uh, consumer offerings that will say, if you pay us a monthly stipend, we will search the internet and try to take all of that data about your phone number, your email address, your criminal records. We will try to delete it and we'll do it on a monthly uh, basis or whatever you're paying for with a membership, Mm. with a subscription. But you can't delete yourself from the internet. And this is the cost of doing business on the internet on a daily basis. I tell my students this all the time. Social media, buying goods online, looking at menus online, all of these things provide data about us. It's constantly tracked, be it through cookies or other mechanisms, and we can use different anonymizing technology, but still it's the cost of doing business. And this is why there has to be a change in how data brokers function. And I'm talking about sites like Spokio and PQ. There are these different websites where they say, Find your old high school classmate or high school sweetheart. But there's data on there that can be extremely damaging depending on your personal situation. You're absolutely right on all the above. Lisa, thank you very much. Lisa Garber, a cybersecurity attorney, very good at what she does, and she does a lot. All right, in the meantime, a pill or a shot to help you lose up to 22% of your body weight. Eli Lilly says it has it and it's ready. Now are you.